Sexual assault investigation spanning three states. A Lillington man is accused of sexually assaulting children and sharing child pornography, and the FBI is looking for possible victims. CBS North Carolina's Amy Cutler is with the latest on the investigation and how the small community is reacting. Ronald Black is already charged with 29 counts of first-degree sexual offense and 12 counts of indecent liberties with a minor. But the FBI is now calling him a child predator, saying there are likely more victims, abuse that dates back to the late 80s. That really scares me a lot to know that there is somebody like that in the community. The FBI telling us Black spent much of that time in Lillington, his most recent address, this mobile home on Newton Road. But they say Black also has ties to White Lake here in North Carolina, Florence, South Carolina, and Tennessee. Back in the 80s, authorities say he was a youth group leader at a Baptist church and may have also been a baseball coach. Lillington is a small town, so we came to the downtown to find out what folks were saying about Ronald Black. We spoke with some people who went to high school with him, and they call these latest accusations shocking. Black was arrested back in April. Authorities say that was for sharing child pornography over the Internet. During that investigation, these new allegations emerged. So it's disgusting, and we don't like that kind of thing, but yet it's so often that I was not surprised. Alice Davis is a ministry coordinator with the Little River Baptist Association. The Harnett County Group assists 50 Baptist churches in the area. Davis says Black didn't work with them, but they recommend that churches do their due diligence. We have a church policy manual that's put out by the state that we suggest and uh, make available to all of our churches um, that they do background checks. In Lillington, Amy Cutler, CBS North Carolina. Again, Ronald Black is already in custody. Anyone who may have information involving sexual assault cases is asked to contact authorities.